San Diego home prices are surging, setting a new record despite high mortgage rates. CBS 8's Brian White breaks down the numbers and the latest sales trends for us. He's live in Mira Mesa tonight. Brian, where are home prices at right now? Well, according to CoreLogic, that's a real estate analytics firm, the median home price in San Diego County has risen to $865,000. Now, that includes homes of all types, like single family and condos and townhomes. And according to their numbers, that's a 10% increase from the same time last year. Home prices continue to go up, while sales activity continues to be relatively slow. With home prices continuing to surge, CoreLogic says the San Diego market is the second most expensive in all of Southern California, next to Orange County. The issue continues to be that we don't have enough inventory and pent-up demand from buyers is really strong. Selma Hep is chief economist at CoreLogic. She says the landscape in San Diego is very challenging for those looking to buy a home, especially first-time buyers. Home prices have been growing at a really fast pace over the last few years, even during the pandemic, because of the migration patterns to the area. Despite surging prices, there were only 2,300 home sales last month across the county. That's the second slowest march on record since 1988. One of the reasons, high mortgage rates that have now climbed over 7% again. It really kind of constrains the market and creates this bottleneck because without people wanting to sell their homes, then there's not enough inventory on the market. Spencer Lugash is president of the Greater San Diego Association of Realtors. He says one issue complicating the home buying process here in San Diego, especially in fire or flood prone areas, is the ability to acquire insurance for a new home in order to finalize the sale. It is um, becoming a significant problem for homeowners and for the market. Insurance is very difficult. We have more and more insurance companies moving out of California, um, not renewing policies. Despite some of these insurance and inventory headwinds, Spencer says there are still plenty of buyers who want to live here. Sometimes we refer to it as the sunshine tax. You know, we have beautiful weather. It's consistent, the beautiful beaches. Um, it's just a wonderful place to live. And, you know, that creates desirability. Now, guys, I think the expectation coming into this year was that uh, mortgage interest rates were going to be a little lower by now. Um, but, uh, you know, the real estate agents I talked to are still holding out hope that the Federal Reserve will cut rates sometime by the end of the year. And hopefully that can have an impact on mortgage rates.